You are listening to the PRO Media Network, the next level in entertainment. Sports Coma with Big Q and the Guy. We have intense, entertaining, educating, and enlightening sport talk from your favorite sports family. I'm Big Q and tonight we're going to be telling y'all about some of the latest acquisitions. That's day two, day three rolling around. The Saints making moves. They're not sitting back and waiting. And that's so gratifying to see is Mickey Loomis and the staff getting busy despite the tragedy. Of the passing of the beloved owner of both professional franchises, Mr. Tom Benson, passed away at 90 years old. This show is dedicated to him and his memory, as he's a New Orleans original. Came up in the streets of New Orleans, 7th Ward, St. Rock area, from rags to riches, a true story, a true inspiring story to all those, man, who we're not quite there yet financially, but with a little focus and a lot of hard work, which it, what it can get you. Once again, welcome to the Sports Coma. This is episode 164, 164 on the, on the Sports Coma. We'd like to say thank y'all to all of the, the supporters that's been supporting us over the couple of years that we've been doing this show and other shows like the Pelican Post Game Report and other PRO Media Network podcasts among other things thank you and we urge you to join our social media family at facebook twitter instagram and you definitely youtube check out us on youtube we got all kind of video reports and if you missed the show you can catch many back shows as well and listen to myself and the rest of the pro media network personalities in today's show episode 164 we're going to be covering some news here. We got a few tweets from ESPN saying that Nadama can sue. That's right. And Nadama can sue the big dominating when he wants to defensive tackle previously of Detroit of Miami. He's in town having dinner with the Saints staff right now, sitting down talking about if he, if, 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 if it's on food alone, we got, we already got him. Nobody beating us in the, in the world. And far as our cuisine goes. So <laughs> that, that, that's a, that's a seal. That's a done data, but the money is the situation. The Saints did make a few, uh, acquisitions, uh, during the first day, the first day previously getting Kirk Coleman in here at the free safety spot to replace Vinny, uh, Kenny Vaccaro. And not only that, but also then signing some inside linebacker help in the personage of Mr. Demario Davis, the hardworking Demario Davis, 134 tackles, four and a half sacks or four sacks. I think it was last year for the Jets was a force in the interior, in the interior of that defense. He is now a Saint three year contract, of course. And also it's a homecoming of sorts for Patrick Robinson, as he comes back, spent some time uh, with New Orleans early on, drafted by the Saints in the first round. Some people considered him uh, a dud, but he has resurrected his career playing with San Diego, then Indianapolis, and ultimately ended up with Philadelphia last year, earning a Super Bowl title. Eight years in the game, he turned his career around. He is now a Saint again on a four-year deal. Uh, so congratulations to those guys. Now, we talked about some of those guys earlier. Today, we're going to be mentioning – some other news that trans that that happened across the transaction wire dealing with the Saints. And of course, they keep him busy, despite the fact that Tom Benson, Benson's passing. They're trying to upload that uphold that vision of Tom Benson going forward. They extend out punter Thomas Morstead, who's similar to Richard Sherman. He negotiated his own deal. They extend him out five years extension worth about 20 million. He's got roughly nine guaranteed. 
So you agents out there better be very careful because you might just become as extinct as uh, <laughs> uh, some of the former NFL games from the 20s and 30s. You could be definitely become a dinosaur of this catching on because these players nowadays, they don't not only smart enough to train, but they're smart enough to negotiate themselves. They don't need you taking pe- bits and pieces of their money anymore. So, I mean, <laughs> that might be, that's definitely a burgeoning trend that smarter players, not everybody as good as numbers as some, but if you're not, then I, I, I urge you to get somebody you trust, a professional agent. But if you're smart enough uh, to handle the numbers, why the hell not, man? Why the hell not? Anyway, uh, we're going to talk about that more. We're going to break that contract down with Thomas Morstead. Tom Benson, we mentioned his passing at 90 years old. The team now, the both professional teams, both Pelicans and Saints, move over to Gale uh, Benson. Uh, who is obviously is going to uphold the vision of Tom Benson to keep the team in place and continue to uh, empower these clubs. So that's good to know uh, that she won't, uh, you know, move these clubs anywhere. That's just uh, good. As Saints resigned Alex Okafor, who was with the Saints last year on a one year prove it deal, he finished. Three eleven games with 43 tackles and four and a half sacks. He was pretty damn good before he went down with that injury. Saints feel pretty confident in him. He went out to Tampa Bay, talked to them, and got close to signing. And the Saints say, hey, hold up. Come on. Come on back here, man. We don't need you tan up, Drew. You can be our man. So they signed him to a two-year deal and uh, worth about $10 million. We'll get into that as well. The Saints also get some money back. So they give money, get money. And they get money back, a $3 million credit. For Nick Fairley, according to the NFL, now the NFL uh, says three million. It could be more. Of course, it's all this is not truly still worked out, and the Saints is looking for a good amount of money. But three million around now could really help, especially if you're staring them down and Sue in the face and saying we want you, we want to add you next to Sheldon Rankins, Cam uh, Jordan, and Alex Okafor. Hey man, hey, think about that. And uh, let's take about Saints also have another acquisition, another homecoming guy coming back in the, in the personage of Jermon Bushrod. Remember, Jermon Bushrod was here as before. He was a fourth round selection for the Saints out of Tolson. He is back after touring around the league. He was with Miami last season. He comes in and replaces one of my favorite football players, Sunil Calamente. Uh, so he signs a one year deal to basically come back and uh, fill that slot. He plays all over the line, uh, guard or tackle. I don't know about center, but uh, Calamente will be missed. But welcome back, Jermon Bushrod, as he comes back to town. Now let's get into some of these stories on the sports coma. Starting off with the Dominican Sioux, of course, we had to tweet uh, some time ago uh, about uh, about the Dominican Sioux. Of course, he was released a few days ago by the Miami Dolphins in a, in a cost move try to free up some money. They have a whole culture uh, change that they're trying to end, uh, do in Miami. And a lot of those players, Maurice Pounce, Pouncey is another guy that wants out. A bunch of those guys are moving on. I don't know if it's the, I don't know what kind of culture change they're talking about. It, to me, I don't think that coach is very good out there, but uh, he's changing the whole game. And, uh, and Nadama Kasu is one of those guys, of course, is reported by ESPN's Deanna, uh, Diana Rossini that he is having dinner uh, right now with the pellet with the Saints brass and hopefully and we'll know something by tomorrow whether or not uh, to see what kind of money and of course he's definitely as it was reported looking for a deal between 12 to 17 million a year I don't know if I know the Saints can't pay that but Mickey Loomis with these fantastic luminotic luminomics type contracts where he creates phantom years and all this kind of stuff. So with him, the magician, uh, Mickey Loomis operating, I'm pretty sure that they can probably do something to kind of fit that contract into place, but it can't be too rich. Maybe they'll sign or give him a big signing bonus or something like that. If anybody could pull it off is what I'm saying is Mickey Loomis. So that's what's being reported. We won't know nothing about this uh, until tomorrow because he has other visits set up as well. But the Saints, hopefully they don't let him out the building. At Nadama and Sue, uh, next to uh, Cam Jordan and Alex Okafor and, and Sheldon Rankins and and David Onyemata and Tyler Davison, could you imagine, could you imagine that defense, the front four and the 
Oh, my goodness. And I forgot to mention Kakaha, my bad, and Trey Hendrickson, my bad, and El Kadeem Muhammad. Wow. Could everybody out there who's a Saints fan who've been craving dominant defense from the Dome era, from the Dome Patrol era, say wow with me? Wow. Absolutely mind-blowing if the Saints can add that guy to the defense. They haven't dinner with him right now, so y'all keep y'all fingers crossed on that. Hopefully we can pull that off and, and, and also keep it moving. Let's talk about the Thomas Morstead extension. We're going to get into that. I touched on a little bit of it. But the time is Morstead extension is a five year extension uh, that they did for the punter on a Friday. Of course, to free up some years, free up some of that cap money, actually. And he was scheduled to earn four point fifteen million in salary and bonuses this year with the highest salary cap figure of any punter in the NFL, which is about fourteen point eighty five million dollars. And he earns it. Thomas Morstead, in my estimation, is the best punter in the league. Yes, I said it over Shane Leckler, whoever you're going to call, but this guy is the best punter in the NFL, and he's definitely a Hall of Famer in my book. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys out there agree with me. He turned 32 last week, so he got a little age on him, but he made the Pro Bowl in 2012. And according to Football Focus, they recognized him as a first-team All-Pro punter last year, I mean in 2017. His career averages are 47 yards per punt, 41.4 in net yards per punt. Both of them rank among the best in the NFL history. Could you all say future Hall of Fame uh, Pro Bowl punter with me? Because that's what he is. He's also a six-man, uh, uh, the former Saint Man of the Year selection, nat- nationally recognized for his community work. Remember he did that stuff for Minnesota? Uh, the campaign uh, out there with Minnesota. He didn't have to do that, but he did it. But that just show you what kind of dude Alex, uh, I mean, uh, excuse me, uh, Morstead is, Thomas Morstead is, is an excellent person and a giving person. And if you give, let that be a lesson to you. The bigger you give, the bigger you receive. You can't give little and expect big. You got to give big to get big. Y'all remember that. That's the universal law. And this, that's why so many wealthy or really good people give big and generously give because they know they will receive big, such is the case. Five years, 20 million, roughly about $9 million is what his contract is. He frees up some money in particulars. And, and I think it's congratulations on the Saints for doing that. We love Thomas Morstead. We're happy to have him back. And uh, I, just, I just think it's a terrific move. Good work, Saints. Okay, let's take a look at our next topic. We're going to go into the... The fact that the Saints received about $3 million, uh cap credit for the Nick Fairley deal. Now, we're going to go over this. Now, this is reported by uh, NOLA.com that's reporting uh, that the New Orleans Saints were going to receive a $3 million credit related to Fairley, according to a source from ESPN. So, it's actually an ESPN article that they're quoting from. Now, of course, we know the particulars behind Nick Fairley, his ongoing grievance, uh, uh, but the Saints looking for some salary cap relief, you know, they, it, it's 3 million cap credit. Now he signed a four year deal with the Saints last much, but he, you, of course we know in last March, he never played in 26, signed a contract with the Saints, but he never played in 2017 when they did it. Now he had that hard condition and of course he couldn't pass the physical. So the Saints put him on the nine football illness list and then ultimately released him in February. So his contract included about $8 million in signing bonus, which should have been spread across the four years of the deal for salary cap purposes. But the Saints paid $4 million of the signing bonus before they discovered the hard condition. In cutting fairly, the Saints escalated the remaining proration of the signing bonus, which would have been $2 million each year for 2018 to 2020, up to uh, 20. To the 2018, he was supposed to count for six million in dead cap space for 2018, but this, but because the Saints only pay half the bonus, they received three million credit for that portion, which is better than nothing. But when we come back on the other side of the break, we're gonna finish up this story. We also gonna talk about uh, some more Saints news. Saints Alex Okafor comes back, Bush Ride comes back, and other stories. You're listening to the Sports Coma with Big Q and the guys. Stay with us. Uh, uh. 
What's up, sports world? This Big Q from the Sports Coma with Big Q and the guys. Talking to you about the website, theposhlifestyle.com. That's right, poshlifestyle.com. A great website where you can get great products at great prices. They sell organic herbs, vitamins, supplements, water filters for your home, EMF and cell phone radiation protection, healing magnetics, and healing crystals, personal protection devices like cell phones, stun guns, and mace spray, organic deodorants, shampoos, soaps, toothpaste, and more. They also sell 10A grade Brazilian hair. 10A music is available now. All kind of the latest down downloadable mixtapes so what are you waiting for head on over to the posh lifestyle.com that's the posh lifestyle life spell with a y l y f e style.com put in the sports coma for the 10 percent discount on your purchase it's a win-win so get your mind and body right with the posh lifestyle Get all the latest news and updates from your New Orleans Pelicans at the Pelicans Argue. The new and official Pelicans Daily Journal, covering everything Pelicans. Attention, everyone. Get, get breakdown on games, free agent signings, and potential moves. Unbiased opinions and straight up facts with statistical analysis from Chief Balance. Go to www.thesportsdaily.com forward slash Pelicans dash I dash view. Wow, what a huge honor it is to be named NBA 2K18 Legend Edition Cover Athlete. I really wouldn't be here without the guidance, love, and support of my mom and dad. Also, I'd like to thank my coaches, both college and professional. But most of all, I'd like to thank Kobe Bryant. He was the NBA 2K Legend Cover Athlete first. He's so awesome and handsome and has really nice natural teeth. Wait, what? I'll be looking at his teeth. This ain't over, Kobe. Payback's gonna be fun. Let me tell you about a news site that carries the news that you would want to know. News that's not the same as the rest of lamestream media, but a site that lets you know about the most important news on health, economics, tech, entertainment, science, food, sports, World news, positive living, paradigm shift, and a lot more. Go to theposhreportonline.co. That's right, theposhreportonline.co. Learn more. And remember, challenge everything. Follow the Sports Coma on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. to the Sports Coma with Big Q and the guys on the PRO Media Network. Welcome back to the Sports Coma with Big Q and the guys. Tonight is just Big Q and by myself, Rod and Dolo, big shout out to DC, couldn't make it tonight, but it's okay, we holding it down. We're going to talk some more Saints here, people. We're going to get into the deal, talk some more Saints. We've got a few contract particulars that we're going to hit y'all with that we're coming into uh, dealing with uh, Patrick Robinson's deal. We're going to talk about his deal. Contract, four years, $20 million. Uh, total, $10 million guaranteed, $5 million signing bonus. 2018, $1 million salary, fully guaranteed. $2.25 million salary cap costs. 20, in 2019, it's a $4 million salary with $2 million fully guaranteed. $2 million guaranteed for injury only becomes fully guaranteed on the third day of the 2019 league year. $100,000 workout bonus, $5.25. Thirty-five million cap costs, and then twenty twenty four point eight million dollar salary, a hundred thousand workout bonus, up to a one point twenty five mil, not likely to be earned incentives based on playing time. So a lot of language in there. Interceptions and Pro Bowls, it's a six point fifteen million cap costs, and then twenty twenty one four point nine million dollar salary, hundred thousand dollar workout bonus up to $1.25 million, not likely to be earned incentives based on playing time. Interceptions and Pro Bowl at a $6.25 million, $6.25 million cap cost. So that's the particulars on Patrick Robinson's deal that's fully released. I mean, that's 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 pretty much everything. Let's get into some more. Let's, we're going to finish it out and, and talk about some more other contracts because we also have the particulars on Tom Savage, the new backup quarterback, the Saints signed yesterday from 
the Houston Texans. We got his contract. We'll break it down. We have uh, offensive lineman Gerard Bushrod's one-year deal. We'll give you the particulars to that as well. But let's get back into the story dealing with Nick Fairley and, uh, and talk about what the Saints need to do about this situation. Now, just to brief you on this, the Saints did, of course, released um, Nick Farrelly uh, last year and in February, of course, at this year, excuse me, in February. His contract included $8 million signing bonus, which have been spread across the length of the deal, which was four years. Now, according to the, Nash, the NFLPA, the Players Association, the Saints on Thursday, March the 15th, had $15.7 million in salary cap remaining for this year. But the number will change quickly. Now I go from 15.7 up to possibly around 18, 19 million for the Saints. Uh, but that's not including the deals of Patrick Robinson, Tom Savage, or Demario Davis. So, you know, just keep a tune on that. Now the grievance between Fallon and the Saints have not been settled. So there's still a chance the team owes him more money or that he'll have to re some refund some of the 4 million that was paid. So mm, still kind of working that out, still kind of working that out, you know? So we'll see how all of that goes down eventually. But the truth be told, it would have been a tremendous, uh, damn, it would have been a tremendous effect to have Nick Farrelly to play on the Saints defensive line last year. You know, it's just a shame that, you know, he had a heart situation preventing him from playing because no pun intended, his heart was in it. You know, he wanted to uh, actually, you know, go on and play in the, in, in for the Saints. It just wasn't meant to be. And hopefully, you know, he's been away from football f- for a year. Some doctor said that he was supposed to possibly not play ever again. Now, he's played some years in the NFL. He still wants to play. We'll just have to monitor him uh, and wish him well, man. He's a millionaire. You live your dream, buddy. You know, don't push it if you don't have to, man. You know, anyway, let's talk about Alex Okafor. That's right. We got Oak back. We got Alex Okafor reti- resigning, resigning to the team. Now, remember, Okafor did take that visit. That was, that was a, to Tampa Bay to rival, and that was enough to scare the piss out the Saints and say, you know what? Let's put a lasso on that guy and bring him back. It, they did. Now, he played on a one-year deal last year, and he proved himself. Even though he only played 11 games, he, would, he was totally effective. You know Alex Okafor was out there on that field. He, play, he was the perfect complement player next to Cameron Jordan in the line. He was terrific. He moved inside when you needed to. He moved outside. He was a good pass rusher, four and a half sacks. And my, I think he probably would have got up to eight if he would have been able to finish out the rest of the year. And you had the playoffs games in there. He was, she definitely was missed down the stretch, if you ask me. You know, but the Saints won't miss him this time. They signed him back. He will come back and fill that role again. He pencil him two year deal for a 27 year old Okafor coming off that torn uh, Achilles tendon that he suffered back in November. He said he'll be ready to go when uh, when the camp start, and that is good news as well because the Saints agreed today, uh, according to a source, that it'll be a two year contract worth ten million dollars, and of course he will come in and assume that starting role opposite of Cameron Jordan. So. Uh, that's good news to have Okafor back. And also remember, this, the team also signed George Johnson uh, to a one-year contract. And he had a pretty good year last year when when Alex Okafor went down. So the Saints have, like I'm going to say it again, they have uh, behind Cam. Now they have Okafor back. Now they add George Johnson back. They still have Trey Hendrickson. They still got Haloe Kakaha. They still have Kadeen Muhammad. And that's, listen, that's just lis- listening to ends. You know, and then, of course, some of those guys can play inside as well. You know, they're not just totally defensive ends. You can shift those guys along the line. So I'm really proud of the fact that the Saints have really, really solidified and they have a serious amount of depth and pass rushers on that defensive front. So big ups to the New Orleans Saints organization for reinforcing the defensive line in a, in, in a major capacity because you can never have too many ends. I'm just going to be honest with you and, and, and tell you the truth. Now let's get into the Bushrod deal. As you know, uh, Jermaine Jeron Bushrod, a former Saint, comes home and he signed a deal with the Saints. Uh, his deal is worth, it's just a one-year veteran minimum salary. It get, it would, he gets a signing bonus of 90000 and a base salary of $1.15 million, 179000 of which is fully guaranteed. He will only cost 720000 
uh, 720,000 against the cap. So Jermaine Bushrod, uh, not gonna, he's not going to break the bank, but he does provide a guy that can play basically up and down the line of scrimmage. And remember, Bushrod was one of the guys that was a member of that 09 Super Bowl team. And it's good to have him back because we lose Saloi Kakaha to a three-year deal, $12 million to the Houston Texans. We needed to replace him with somebody who had that utility uh, knife-type style, you know what I'm saying? Somebody that could play up and down the line. And Bushrod is a guy that can play guard, play tackle. I don't think he can play center, but, you know, who knows? But let's look at some of his particulars. Of Like we said, 33 years old, he could play tackle or guard. Uh, the Saints probably would have to, you know, that that was a pretty significant move. Now, he did play for Chicago for, for a couple of years, and then he moved on to Miami for one year. He decided to leave and come back. He's a fourth-round pick, like I said, out of Tolson back in 07, spent two years before he was trusting to the starting lineup because of injury to Jamal Brown. Remember that dude? <laughs> he started a total of 122 regular season games and seven playoff games and his 11 career. So, Jermon Bushrod is back in a Saints uniform, and I just think that's absolutely peachy. I think that's absolutely awesome. So the Saints lose out on Clement uh, uh, Sineo Calamente, and they bring another guy in that can ultimately help them. Now, we take a look at some of these moves. Then uh, let's let's recap over the first three days here, or two days, three days, whatever. Let's recap some of this stuff. The first thing that Saints did was, of course, bring they re-signed Drew Brees to a three-year deal, but breaks down to a one-year deal to have Drew back here, and they spread the money out and secure Drew Brees' services. Number, well, actually, that's the most important factor. The actual, really, the first thing they did was the signing of Kirk Coleman, who was released by the Carolina Panthers. He agreed to a contract before Drew, but we're going to put importance of the team. We don't have a team without Drew. So we put Drew there at the top. Then, of course, you have Coleman. He signed his deal with the Saints to come in and replace Kenny Vaccaro. So the Saints didn't wait to go out there and say, okay, let's see what we're going to do. Tyron Matthews out there. Eric Reed is out there. Uh, Trey Boston's out there. They have a very good amount of safeties that's floating around out there on the market. But the Saints say we, got, we like Coleman and we like what he can do. And we're going to bring him in and make him the veteran of the young secondary do it. So they bring in uh, Kurt Coleman to be the veteran pair of eyes back there and replace Kenny Vaccaro in that role. So Drew Brees is your quarterback again. Uh, you got Coleman starting penciled in where uh, Vaccaro was last year. And then the Saints proceeded to go from there. Uh, the Saints also were able to do a, some other pretty solid moves. They brought in two new additions, which one, one is really an old addition. They did bring in uh, Demario Davis. They needed help in the middle of the interior of the defense. They needed a leader, a bruiser, somebody that can give them a little bit of everybody, uh, everybody, a little bit of everything. He's an all around guy, doesn't miss any games. And when I, when they signed him, I was a little kind of curious about it because he's 29 years old. You gave a three year contract to a 29, uh, 29 years old, near old, near old guy. And I was like, wow, that's kind of something. But if you look at what his body of work is, this guy never misses games, you know, so the Saints are playing for his availability. So your best ability is your availability. That cliche term is actually true because now Demario Davis gets paid with the Saints on a three year deal. Saints didn't stop that. They said we need to shore up our young secondary. We like him. We like Ken Crawley before we you walk in. We like uh uh, uh, Marshawn Lattimore defensive rookie of the year we like uh, Williams despite the fact that he gave uh, Minnesota that crap you know we still like these guys so still in all they bring in Patrick Robinson they bring in Jermaine Bushrod to play C.O. Calamente they bring back George Johnson they bring back Alex Okafor they redo Thomas Morstead I give them a big fat thumbs up good work New Orleans and it's talking to Ndamukong and Sue right now that's right. And if he's eating our food, we already got him. They're going to take him to the facility tomorrow so he can look around. So hopefully we can put the cap on the fantastic free agent period uh, with the endowment and Susan. Stay tuned on that. That'll do it for tonight. Thank you all for listening to the Sports Coma with Big Q and the guy. And as always, you can join us on social media via Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Go on YouTube, the Pro Media Network. You can listen to all our content, share video reports, and everything. Peace.
Forget ESPN or Fox. Get straight sports talk from the Sports Coma with Big Q and the guys. In today's world, children are bombarded with negativity on television, online, and at school. Our kids need to have a positive outlook on life and the world around them. I want to share with you a valuable resource you can use to bring positivity into your child's life. It's the new book, 101 Powerful Children Affirmations, A Guide to Positive Child Self-Image. From author and dad, G.J. Barabino. This is a simple guide loaded with wonderful and inspirational affirmations designed to uplift young people's spirits. This positive and powerful children affirmational is chock full and loaded with wonderful inspirational sayings that will lift your child's self-image to whole new levels through the awesome power of spoken word. 101 Powerful Children Affirmations, a guide to positive child self-image from author and dad, G.J. Barabino. Available on Amazon. Order a copy for yourself, your child's teachers, or anyone you know with children. 101 Powerful Children Affirmations, a guide to positive child self-image. Order your copy today. Thank you for listening to the Pro Media Network, who provides hours and hours of free entertainment to you and yours. If you are benefiting positively from our content, please donate to help us grow our platform by going to www.patreon.com slash the Pro Media Network. That's www.patreon.com slash the Pro Media Network. And support the true independent artists. Check out the Crown They Ass World Podcast. Covering all the news and issues that affect you and the ones you care about. Only on the PRO Media Network.